you have those two losses uh, early on in your career. What's, what's made you a better fighter now compared to the losses to fight? Man, I repeat this a hundred times a day, <laughs> but uh, it's a day and night, you know. Uh, I've changed my own team, I've changed everything around. Uh, my new trainers, the best manager in the world that is, uh, has made the tremendous difference in my career. My foundation is soccer. I have my army around me. I have the best physical conditioner. I have the best trainer. I have the best manager. I have the best you know, managers. Everybody around me, golden boy promoter. So, so um, I got a good I got a good bag. I got a good backing. So uh, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But I'm going to win. So. Uh, there's so much about their side about how many fighters are so slow to take off. Yet you never really have to take it at all. What's your mindset about this fight, even though I was going to be so Well, the stuff about people around you, you know, it's the general life. Just because most people have done it this way doesn't mean everybody's going to do it that way. You know, uh, chiefs live in, in groups, lions live alone. So when that the opportunity came to me, I saw I saw him ready and I saw that we got what we want. And I spoke to my manager and uh, got everything we want. I said, okay, no problem. Yes, it did come fast. We wanted to make this a super fight. But it is a super fight. And, and now, what's, what's better than now? He's at his best. I'm at I'm at my best for now. I'll be better later, even. But you know, uh, I'm very confident in my abilities, and uh, I'm not scared of nobody. I'm not so jacked. I'm not scared of nobody. 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 I don't know the exact numbers, but I have a lot of great supporters from Montreal, from Quebec, from Canada. Uh, I've always had a big backing uh, there. You know, my style of fighting, my, my character attracts people. I'm all business, I'm all real. There's no, uh, there's no behind the scenes, it's black or white, I give it as it is. Uh, people like that, you know. Uh, that's what I give and I receive what I, what I deserve. So, there's uh, only a big back in the back in the world that come to support me. Uh, even in the US and in the world. Hopefully, even some Kazakh fans will be rooting for me. Putting some DDD caps on instead of GGG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but uh, this is going to be a great fight. With the WBC stating that um, the winner of this fight has to face the winner of Sao Canelo Alvarez versus Cotto, does that add more pressure into this fight? Is there more of a reason to win? Uh... Not at all. Uh, when I have an objective, I only really look at that objective and nothing at all. Ruffin's a big fight. I'm uh, fully concentrated in this fight and I'm not looking beyond it. I'm just concentrated in this fight and I'm focused on that. A lot of people, are you said, a lot of people gone into fighting the left and thinking that they were going to win. You're saying that you're coming in differently. How do you think you're coming in differently? Is it more mental? Is it more physical? What's the difference that you're going to bring? Uh, you know, uh, I, have a, I have a big package coming in. Uh, you know, for, for every fight, is a different opponent. Uh, I adapt well. Uh, my last opponent was a good mover, and my next opponent is a good puncher and a solid fighter. So, so we'll be training uh, with my trainers uh, in the gym uh, to be ready for uh, this kind of uh, opponent and this kind of a task. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a game of chess. Each step you take determines who. So you think you're going to adapt quicker then than other people did when you deal with Gennady's power, when you like see it like one on one? Oh yeah, I'm going to adapt the best way anybody else can do. You think you're looking to be surprised at the power? I think he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a smart guy. I think he knows what he's going to get against. But yes, he will be a surprise at my power. Who's the hardest country to face so far? Can I face? Uh, 
there's a difference between fighters I faced when I wasn't fully prepared and fighters I faced when I was fully prepared. Country in the ring. Is it a draw? Is it a draw between two people? It's gonna be the hardest one. You, when you were growing up, your teacher would tell you, "Do you have a plan B in life?" And you're like, "No, I, I'm going to be a world champion." You were, you were so confident in that. Do you speak with the same confidence you do that you did to your teacher as you do to the media? about beating Golovkin? Absolutely, you know, uh, determination has been my uh, strongest key, that's why I'm here today, speaking in front of you all, I've not been uh, some bum hanging out in parks smoking cigarettes. Uh, you know, I've, I've, packed, I've packed my bags, I've done, uh, I've done the best of what I can do, and uh, I was so resolved. I didn't have the same eyes and the same vision as I have now, but I had the same determination. David, they were talking about the uh, middleweight boxing history. What kind of statement are you planning to make on October 17th? Well, I'm trying to make a very significant statement by getting the lock in. So, uh, I can't tell you the details of what I'm going to do, but it will be massive. David, you have the courage to take on the toughest fight in the division. Do you feel like the middleweights, uh, the rest of the middleweights in the division, specifically the middleweights uh, in Premier Boxing Champions, are consistently ducking fights or not trying to make the toughest fights out there? Well, if you're a coward, you get uh, you get uh, your feedback as you should. If you're a champion and you, you, you don't duck and you, you play your role and you accept fights that you should, even the revolution, even your aura, even who you are and what you should fight. And yeah, you should be considered as a champion. Everybody gets what they deserve. Golovkin has fought guys who, who people opponents that people say, well, it's that's not a real name, you know. He's really proven himself, you know. He's knocked everyone out. When you see these fights, do you think I could have done the same thing to those guys? Uh, I don't look at it in that way, but uh, he's done. He's done. A, he's done a strong. He has he's had a great career. He's beaten a lot of credible guys. He's a great fighter. The numbers are good. People will always judge fighters for what they should have done or what they don't do. But you know, he's done it. People who are boxing know that he's a serious guy and he's a serious dog. Uh, I give him the respect he deserves, but in the ring, it's about the dog work. Are you surprised, I guess, with so much in the last couple of months? And that's a weird question, but are you surprised so much with how people make so much uh, publicity about your hair and your hair's time? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm surprised, yeah, that <laughs> people are paying so much attention to all the details, but I'm a guy who makes sure I be careful of all the details I come up because as a professional, as a champion, we're 2015 now, things have evolved in every small detail. Difference. Looks are important nowadays, you know, the, how you speak, what you do. is the example of the, the youth is going to take and as, a, as a champion, you're giving good vision to the younger generation, even older, whatever. But uh, I believe to respect others is to respect yourself and to give the best of yourself. And my hair has been getting a lot of attention because, yeah, two years ago I decided to, to make something different. Like, what can I make different? I mean, yeah, this is too regular. Okay, let me shave the sides. So, so I started by shaving sides, but my hair was short back then. Like, let me let it grow, so then I let it grow. And over time, I like it, so you know, it caught on. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I don't use much products. I have I have I have wax that I put in my hair because I can't put face because when I sweat it goes in my eyes and it burns. So I put wax and wax doesn't doesn't uh, burn my eyes. Because some guys don't have hair. Sorry guys, you can't have this one. <laughs> but I put wax to hold my hair tight. I can't have it flying around my face when the Olympians are be punching me. You know. <laughs> One thing that the left said who was in there was someone said, you know, 
you're a hero. You got it. Yeah. And he said, no, 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 no. You know, I'm a normal guy. Which one do you want to be? Do you want to be a hero type of people? Or are you just a normal guy? Or are you, are you a mixture? I don't like to put these uh, these quotes or these things. You know, people people decide how to name you by how, what they say about you. You know, uh, uh, to some people, if you are their hero, you are their hero. Uh, to some people, you are their champion, you are their champion. Some people don't like you. It's okay. To me, I want to be. I want to give out what I give, and I want to get the feedback I get. I give out the best of me, and I also want to get the feedback I deserve. And, uh, I'm a great, I'm a great fighter. I'm a great human. That's what I want to explore. Ask you about.